Washington, this is VOA News. Widespread internet outage reported in North Korea. Ebola death toll hits another milestone. I'm Ray Kugel reporting from Washington. North Korea appears to be experiencing a widespread internet outage just days after President Obama warned the U.S. would retaliate for a cyber attack on Sony Corporation that was blamed on Pyongyang. The reason for the massive outage is not yet clear. A State Department spokeswoman, when asked about the situation, declined comment. However, she did say the U.S. government is discussing a range of options in response to the Sony hacking, some of which she said will be seen and some that may not be seen. For its part, North Korea Monday called on the United States to apologize for implicating Pyongyang in the hacking of Sony Pictures and threatening also to fight back in a variety of ways, including cyber warfare. Veteran politician and staunch anti-Islamist Beji Kaid Essebsi was elected Tunisia's next president. Lisa Bryant reports. Official results give 88-year-old Beji Kaid Essebsi nearly 56% of the vote in Sunday's runoff election, compared to 44% for incumbent interim president Monsef Marzouki. Secularist Essebsi was expected to win the vote. In remarks broadcast by French TV, Mr. Essebsi said his election marked the start of Tunisia's future. He said he wants the nation to move forward united. He also saluted those who voted for his opponent. The vote closes Tunisia's somewhat rocky transition to democracy nearly three years after a January revolution ousted longtime dictator Zin El Abidine Ben Ali. Lisa Bryant for VOA News, Paris. This is VOA News. A bomb blast hit a bus station in Gombe City, Nigeria, killing at least 20 people. The station was crowded with holiday travelers when the attack took place. There's been no claim of responsibility for the Monday explosion. Hours later, a massive blast rocked a marketplace in the northeastern city of Bauchi, setting the entire area ablaze. Witnesses say there are heavy casualties, not yet clear how many or what caused the blast. The World Health Organization says the death toll from the Ebola outbreak is now more than 7,500 people, and the number of cases is nearing 20,000. The latest data reflects recent trends, with Liberia and Guinea seeing a decrease in the rate of Ebola transmissions, while Sierra Leone's cases continue to rise. So those three West African countries account for almost all of the Ebola deaths. The leaders of Ukraine, Russia, France, and Germany have reached agreement to hold a new round of peace talks on Ukraine. The Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko says... Negotiations will be held in the Russian capital Minsk Wednesday and Friday. Previous talks in September led to a shaky peace agreement, and fighting has continued in eastern Ukraine. The U.S. Justice Department announced it's cracked a massive international scheme involving a French company that paid bribes to government officials in several countries over more than a decade. VOA's Jim Malone has details. U.S. officials announced that the French power and transportation company Alstom has agreed to plead guilty to violating the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act in connection with a bribery scheme carried out between 2000 and in 2011. Deputy U.S. Attorney General James Cole described the plea deal as a historic law enforcement action that brings to an end a transnational bribery scheme that involved Alstom and its subsidiaries in Switzerland and the United States. Cole said Alstom has agreed to plead guilty to charges of violating the bribery laws and will pay a criminal penalty of more than $772 million. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington. New York City police officials say the gunman who shot dead two police officers had a history of violence and mental illness. 28-year-old Ishmael Brinsley shot and killed the two men as they sat in their patrol car Saturday in Brooklyn. He then fled into a nearby subway station where he shot and killed himself. New York City Chief of Detectives Robert Boyce says according to Brinsley's family, he had a troubled childhood and was often violent. Boyce says Brinsley had been arrested almost 20 times for crimes ranging from petty theft to making threats. And the U.S. military has referred the investigation of Sergeant Bo Bergdahl's 2009 appearance from a base in Afghanistan to a general courts martial convening authority to determine if he should indeed be court martial. I'm Ray Kugel in Washington. That's the latest world news from BOA.